that's a uh, that's a, a good one. Uh, what do you guys want to do next? We could talk more I about. I want a mud squad. Oh fucking all right. I want a mud squad. Can we just have we tracked? Have I we... want to mud squad. Munch Squad. Have you tracked the engagement on Munch Squad? Because, like, listen, here's I'm I'm a fan of Munch Squad, Justin. I the the food, the the jokes, it's great, it's hilarious. I mean, me and my kids, they love it. Um, I just want to make sure that when we introduce a new segment, and maybe this can be what I bring to Munch Squad, is I just want to make sure we've got the metrics and we're tracking I, I, it yeah. and we're responsible. I definitely I'm, I'm most of this right now. Just tweet about Munch Squad. I haven't really gotten anybody tweet. What I'm kind of was hoping for people would be like, here's a candidate for the squad. And I'd be like, you mean the Munch Squad? It's a little early to be shortening it. I, it took me a long time to call. Well, shouldn't it be Munch Punch? N- no. No, that's no, a cereal. No. Get the fuck out of here. Try- See, that's why I'm here. If we, if you called it Munch a Bunch, this would be dead on the vine. Because Munch we, is like, the, the cereal bunches. thing. I'm confused. So when I'm confused by something, I hate it. Okay, everybody hop in the car I, uh, okay. with me. We're going to drive on down uh, Route 10, go past the New Huntington High School. Uh, we're going to turn right here past the marathon, and if you see the Arby's, you've gone too far, because we're pulling into Wendy's. Oh, here. God. I thought we were going to Bob Evans there for a second. I got worried. No, no, no. That's over in Kinetic Park to the left. Are we going to we're the not... world's last Ponderosa? No, that's over on Route 60, Travis. Come oh, on. Oh, sorry. Uh, we're going to Wendy's uh, uh, for a uh, a new treat called the limited edition bacon mozzarella burger. Now, what, as you know, on Munch Squad, we're not really interested with the feedback on a product. We're kind of more interested in what the experts who create these products have to say. Uh, so I, um, the, here, uh, I got the two, <laughs> I got two paragraphs from the press release. Uh, this just dropped May 24th. So this is like hot off the presses, off the PR newswire. And they cook them on the same grill as those delicious Wendy's burgers. This is literally I'm um, this is these two are verbatim. Wendy's just shocked fans by dropping <laughs> its <laughs> I know. What the ama- fuck is this? <laughs> Whoa, just, no, no, Wendy's, no, not like this. Just shocked its fans by dropping its previously unannounced limited edition bacon mozzarella burger. You're not Beyonce! <laughs> this is an hour long music video experience on HBO. <laughs> Uh, what is sure to be a chop topper chart topper on its long list of hits? A chomp topper, a chomp ruined. topper. <laughs> oh, this I, is gonna list fly hits. straight up the iTunes burger charts. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys about the burger, and then we'll get a quote from uh, Kurt Kane, Wendy's chief concept and marketing officer. The ma- masterpiece plays tribute to Wendy's biggest, most classic stars, like thick cut applewood smoked bacon and Love fresh, it. never frozen North American beef. Quick uh, side note, just for legal reasons. Uh, should be noted that fresh beef is available in the contingu- contiguous U.S. and Canada. So, sorry about your luck, Hawaii and Alaska. You're getting that old shit. Uh, however, <laughs> Wendy's that bacon mozzarella beef, that aged beef, classic aged, always frozen. However, Wendy's bacon mozzarella burger puts a new spin on things by collaborating with flavors such as creamy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> well, you know, that creamy flavor. <laughs> with creamy sweet notes of natural mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella. This harmonizes with sliced red onions, spring mix, and a garlic parmesan cheese spread. All tied together. I know what you're thinking. Man, I really like the cheese on this burger. Can we get a cheese spread on here, too? Indeed mm-hmm. you can. All tied together with toasted garlic brioche bun. The burger redefines a genre we all thought we knew. Uh, and this hit is only available for a limited time. So in the, the two things, first thing is that in the like marketing of this product, there's uh, some key art here um, that is uh, uh, supposed to advertise this product. And for some reason, continuing with this frankly insane theme that they've created, they have made the key art for this product look like a CD case. Um uh, uh, this CD case okay, actually so has. Okay, so then, then this is a be- this has to be like the language that they've used has to be like a Beyonce lemonade goof, oh. right? Oh God, yes. Uh, so Travis, I've sent you a link to this product. Oh, Jesus. if you could just dip right in there and give me some of the track listings I and fu- I, oh, I oh, wait, fucking hold on. absolutely can't. I disassociate. Do not, I'm- Justin. Please let us yeah. not jump ahead from the. Taste bud advisory delicious ingredients indicator on the CD, just to let you know, just in case. Yeah. 
Ahem. Track number one. Track number one is what, Trav? Good buns, hon. <laughs> parentheses <laughs> intro. Parentheses. <laughs> performed, with... performed by Garlic Brioche Bun and written by That Soft Taste. Soft taste. <laughs> hit it, hit it, Garlic Brioche. Hit it, Garlic Brioche Bun. <laughs> Is this that new That Soft Taste track? <laughs> is this Sia? No, it's That Soft that Taste. Soft taste. Ooh. Track number two, Trav, what is it? Spread It On, performed by Garlic Parmesan <laughs> Cheese Spread, written by The Condiments. Now, I would like to point out, it's just occurred to me, that this is like a Now That's What I Call Music, a Burger compilation CD, because right. these are all different artists and writers. Uh, the third is Tears of Joy, performed oh. by Red Onion. Written by Mother Nature. I show me show me fucking like a painting of Mother Gaia floating over a Wendy's. Like, oh yes. Y'all heard my mixtape? It is fire. <laughs> Trev, what's that fourth track? So fresh and so green. Somebody I somebody spent a long time designing this C D thing. I guarantee f- fucking tea you we are the only people to ever do a deep dive. <laughs> Into the track list. Yeah, of this whoever wrote this tape. is like nobody's fucking reading this shit. I just want to get out of here. It's Friday. Uh, uh, a gooey performed by mozzarella cheese and written by On Natural. Oh, Justin, you skipped that oven loving. A terrifying, now, terrifying turn. Now, is that the one performed by Applewood Smoke Bacon? I love their shit. Written, written by, by the, the thick, thick cuts. It is. Yeah, the thick cuts. Uh, track number seven is we. Can't freeze, we won't freeze. Performed by North American Beef, written by 100% Fresh Never Frozen. Um, and then there is just in these like <laughs> fucking. Oh, they're on definitely... some. They're on some outcast shit. They definitely do have the asterisk there to reiterate that 100% Fresh Never Frozen Beef is only available in the contiguous U.S. and Canada. Just super want to make it super duper clear. <laughs> Even on bonus. this dumbass track listing, that yeah. definitely Alaska and Hawaii are still fucked. Uh, and then, yeah, so the, what you don't see on here is there's the three uh, Burger Time, just the skits that they do in there, just like break things up, add a little bit of narrative to the scene. Yeah, some fun. They got Chris Tucker to come out and just like do some skits with them. Um, uh, and there's a Good Buns outro. Um, but and it was also written by that soft taste, kind of aping his own shit. Here's the quote from uh, Kurt Kane The bacon mozzarella is a cheeseburger lover's dream. From the first bite, this combination of fresh beef and oven-cooked bacon paired with melty mozzarella and garlic parmesan cheese spread creates a deliciously unforgettable burger. Kurt's work here is a little underwhelming. I'd like him to get with the whole pastiche. Hey, Kurt, can I talk to you real quick? Do you have a second? Yeah, what is it, Dave? Um, I read your quote. It's lovely. It's great. We're kind of doing a whole, like, we're dropping the birds, like a Beyonce thing, like with the album and the thing. Could you fucking get on board for one second, Kirk? Kirk's original quote was like, I didn't want to do any of this. It's a, <laughs> it's a fucking burger with cheese and bacon on it. Is your mind blown, America? <laughs> You've got what now? <laughs> reinventing the genre. They are, in fact, they say it. They re- they say they're doing that. They're doing Hi. that. They say it. Hi, this is McDonald's. How can I help you? Hi, um, I just want to tell you, uh, I need you to take all the burgers that you've already made in there <laughs> and put them in the fucking garbage can. Because Wendy's just blew up the fucking you've game. You've never even hey. thought about putting bacon and cheese on your burger. But we hey, do this. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Hey, it's Ronald. It's Ron. Shut it all down. Shut it all down. We're we're fucking idiots. Throw you, it out we, with the bubble jug. Set it on fire. We're done with all the dumbass burgers we were making. What were we thinking? I'm so embarrassed. Someone made this. <laughs> it does look good though. I mean, it looks like a, it looks like an all right burger. I all think maybe for uh, this was this was very good PR. Obviously, sure. Um, it got I us like, talking. I feel like the first episode of Munch Squad really got me into the idea of foods that would definitely kill a dog or a child if they got their hands on it. And I don't think this burger would do the job as much as a, ch- a, a fried chicken taco would. Although, um, I don't know. There is a lot of mozzarella on here. There's a lot of mozzarella in the, the sauce on there, too. It's like a lot of levels. Is that sure. how it is groundbreaking? Is there a, is, is, When you're coming up with a mozzarella-based recipe, is there a number that represents how much fresh moots goes on it? And in that number, it, the like scale is like one to six. 
And then Wendy's like, we need a new burger. And it's like, well, what if we just took the Moots scale and just like threw it the fuck away and we did like 15 or 16? They're like, that would change the game. Because I am looking on this and it is a gooey baby. That's um, the ninth track. I went to Wendy's Facebook page to see if I could find some more information about this fucking jam. And it's literally all yoga videos. I don't really know what they're doing. <laughs> I don't know it's just it's just pictures of, that their fans have posted, and it's just their skeletal bodies <laughs> after they ate one of these, and were pr- just completely destroyed by how mind blowing. Oh my god, they've done it! Um, <laughs> I'm gonna call Wendy's right now and congratulate them. Okay, so let's hear what he said. <laughs> 